Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to continue with our text bar plugin and in today's video we are actually going to warp the player and have the ability to create warps as well as something about titles so stay tuned for that let's start with actually warping the player because uh, if you think about the location there is four things that can be done so uh, four things that you need because you need an int x or a double x uh, which will equal some value which you're going to get out of the config so dot get config dot get int and it's going to be warp name plus x no not like that but like this plus x because uh, we need to have a x component a y component and a z component of course so let me just quickly copy paste this and change those to y and z okay but the fourth component that we need is actually the world name so we're going to do string world name equals plugin dot get config get string this time not int warp name plus plus world dot world because uh, if we have the world name and the x the y and the z coordinates we can actually create a new location so what we are going to do is location and it's going to be warp lock equals new location and normally you get the location from the player or the entity that you're working with but now we can create a new location as you can see it takes in a world a double x double y double z and you can also just use um, just use uh, ints instead of doubles so what we are going to do over here is you're going to get the world so bucket the get world and string name is of course going to be string name and just x y and z and that will just create the location for us and of course spigot also has the nice player dot teleport method and then we can just fill in warp block and it will teleport our player and i told you at the beginning of the video something about titles and titles are those things that appear in the middle of your screen and have like a, a, a header a subtitle etc etc and it is really easy to send those because what you only need to do is player dot send title instead of send message and over here you can just do chat color dot uh, let's do gold plus uh, the warp name of course warp name and over here chat color dot green plus welcome and it's deprecated but it will still work fine just don't mind the deprecation and just add some press warnings over here uh, yeah that's how far we go with getting our location because that's all we need we only need a x y z and world component to create our location teleport the player over there and of course we can just remove the send message over here um, we do not have any method for actually saving them yet so what I'm going to create is a public void I'm going to call it save warp and of course we also do this in our warp manager because that's how we manage all stuff uh, that has to do with um, yeah functionality so save warp over here uh, what we are going to do is we are going to give the player again player player a string warp name and what we want to do over here is we want to uh, set the variables we need to get the thing so plugin dot get config dot set and what we are going to do over here is um, warp name plus dot x and we need an x coordinate of our location so I'm just going to get location warp lo lock equals player dot get location and if you now get the x from the player's location it will be a double and we specify ints over here and that's because I want to have uh, warps on blocks so we can just easily do that we just do warp block dot get block x as you can see get x will return a double get block x will return an int and what we are going to do is we're just going to copy that for the y and the z as well y z and over here y and z of course what's left is the get config dot set warp name plus the world name of course so dot world and over here what we are going to do is we are going to do warp block dot get world dot get name to store the name and last but not least we need to save the config and notify the player of 
a successfully created warp name. So warp name plus uh, created successfully exclamation mark. And yeah, that's actually it to do the save warp and to warp the player. But we're still missing a little functionality inside of the warp command. Because inside of here we do not yet have a method to actually create them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen again to that. But now it should be length 2. So length 1 will only teleport, teleport the player. And length 2 will actually save it. But we also need to specify that arcs 0 should equal to save. Because we want to save. Or it can also be create. But let me just do save now. And you can also check if the config first uh, contains the warp you're trying to create. And that's today's challenge for the video. I hope you uh, can figure out how that works. Let's get back to what we are doing. And arc0 equals save. What we are going to do is, because we specified it in the warp manager, dot save warp. And we are going to pass player P and over here arcs1. Since it's now in the second place and Java counts to start at 0, so 0 and 1 and then 1 equals 2. Okay, and that's actually all the coding done for now. Uh, we'll get back to this in another episode since um, there's still some functionality that I want to uh, adjust. Okay, let's go and check this out on the server. See you over there. We're inside Minecraft now, start up the server. Let's go take a look at what we have created. And for this video, I have cleared out the, or not, uh, first reload the server. Slash text warp. I have cleared out, as you can see, the warp list because they were um, non-existent. What we are going to do now is, you can see I'm standing, oh, let's stand over here with the Santa Clip video. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Slash warp, uh, slash text warp save santa and santa has created success successfully and when we now do slash text warp uh, we can see santa and if i click on it it will teleport me over there with the nice beautiful title and we will just be standing on the block and that's it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed uh leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord, which I recommend joining at all costs. And hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.